did you hear about CPU sockets? Yes? No? That's probably okay because I am going to explain that in this video. So guys, let's get started. Plugging your favorite electronics device is quite interesting thing but if you have ever built a custom PC it is quite a bit hard to match the right thing to the right socket because there are many types of socket in a motherboard and CPU sockets are not exceptional to that. But the PC connectors use the same socket for lots of things. It should also be taken in mind that there are software and firmware that should also be matched. So what is a CPU socket? A CPU socket makes a processor a part of your computer both providing power and a way to transfer data from your processor to the rest of your PC. So what is the difference between CPU sockets? First, I start with Intel. These days Intel processors uses a mounting system called Land Grid Array or better known as LGA. It means the electric pins are soldered to motherboard and the electric contact pads are on processors. If you are going to buy Intel CPU, then you will see that the socket identifier is something like LGA 2050 or LGA 2011. This number just indicate how many electric contact pads are on processors and how many contact pins are on the socket. So why they need this large number of pins? The main reason is for power delivery. CPUs can consume lots of power and this must be divided into different pins to stabilize it and to protect your CPU from get fried. Now if you are an AMD fanboy and want to buy an AMD CPU then the socket should be identified as AM3 Plus or FM1, FM2 or something like AM4 for their gen CPUs. It's been a long time that Ice Age was finished but still AMD is stuck with pins in their CPUs. AMD CPU sockets connect to the motherboard through some kind of socket like this. Whatever if you are an AMD or Intel fanboy it should also be taken in mind that the AMD or Intel chips doesn't require direct pressure to the chips in order to be properly inserted. Modern CPUs locked up with intention arms because if you put pressure to the chips then it could break the pins on the CPU or the pins on the motherboard. It could lead you to buy a new processor or even a new motherboard. After the CPU socket you need some kind of CPU cooler that can adjust to your motherboard. Although most of the modern CPU cooler supports most of the modern socket unless you are trying to turn your CPU into a small frying pan. Thanks for watching guys if you like this video then hit that like button and if you want more videos like this then go down and click that subscribe button and if you didn't watch our previous video then you can find this video here or here or even in here.